Hi everyone, this is Monica from The Dough Planner and you are watching The Dough Show episode number 12. And a couple episodes ago, I discussed doing events to increase the amount of contacts that you have coming into your business. And now today I wanted to talk a bit about how to set yourself up at an event. Before um, doing essential oils, I actually was an event producer and produced numerous of consumer trade shows. And so I have seen booths that are incredible looking um, all the way to ones that are really not doing so well. So a few of the not so doing so well tips, um, when you are at a show, the number one thing that you do not want to do is to be on your phone ever at any point in time, unless it's to take a photo of your booth and you should only do that one time. or you know a couple times but yes do not be on your phone please even if the event is dead if there's no attendees there stay off your phone interact with the other vendors who are there because you have no idea who you might contact and and you know who you might change lives um, when you're at an event even if there is nobody else in regards to attendees if there's no one else there so number one do not be on your phone when you are at your booth rearrange your booth or you know, help um, other people that are in your booth. If you have a couple people there, organize different things. Um, just stay within your booth space and look excited and happy for any attendees who may be there, not on your phone. And the next tip that I really want to say in regards to having a really good booth would be to have something planned beforehand. So maybe get a table in your house and decorate it just as you would when you're at your next event. So set everything up just how you would like to see it. So then it's done beforehand hand and maybe take a picture of that so you can refer to it when you are setting up at your booth space at an event. And another thing is to have something for people to kind of want to come to your booth. So for example, I have this little spinning wheel thing that my neighbor made for me and whatever it lands on, a person will receive. So for example, maybe it might be a sample or maybe a gift certificate to a make and take class. So they get to spin it and everybody will be coming to your booth to spin this wheel, trust me. So everybody gets to come, they get to spin something, they fill out a ballot as well and that will give me their contact information, which is great to have. Uh, you always want to make sure that you're getting people's contact info. So that's another way to have people come to your space is by having some kind of an incentive like a spinning wheel or something exciting that makes them want to come and kind of check out what you're doing. The other thing is to make it look really beautiful. So maybe you want to add some things like small wooden stumps. I found really awesome things at thrift stores actually, old spice racks that I've repainted with chalkboard paint actually, so I can kind of write on the top of them. Uh, something like gifts from the earth or something like that. And you can align your bottles all along spice racks and that is a really pretty way to present at a booth space. And chalkboards are kind of really a cool thing out right now. You can look at any craft store and really find some neat stand up boards and that sort of stuff to have at a booth space. And even adding some kind of a greenery. So you might find a lavender plant and bring that along and have that at your booth space anything that kind of brings it alive and bring it back to you know nature which is what essential oils are right so those are just a few tips on how to really make an excellent booth space and I hope this helps at your next event let me know if it does I'd love to hear from you or see any pictures of your booths it's really great to see all the fun stuff that you guys put together okay so have a great day and remember do something awesome bye